turn on the injector and press load to put the injector in load mode. Insert the needle carrier through the head mold holder and needle carrier clamp. Gently push the needle carrier back towards the cutter block. Make certain that the back of the needle contacts the cutter block and that the flange of the needle carrier is against the rear of the head mold holder. It may be helpful to observe the needle making contact with the cutter by looking through the vertical inspection hole in the cutter block. Using the 3 32nd inch hex wrench, tighten the needle carrier clamp screw to hold the needle carrier in place. Tighten the needle clamping nut until the nylon ball is sufficiently compressed to hold the needle in place, but do not over tighten. When tagging with the auto fish system, the bevel at the tip of the needle should be in the up position. With the machine in load mode, use the 3 32nd inch hex wrench to loosen the needle carrier clamp screw slightly. Place the hex nut driver on the needle clamping nut and turn the entire needle and carrier assembly clockwise until the needle bevel is properly oriented. Keep gentle rearward pressure on the needle carrier so it stays seated against the rear of the head mold holder. Tighten the needle carrier clamp screw. Press ESC or escape to exit the load mode.